Welcome back to Fiesta Friday. This is our staycation special here on the program. And you know the sun obviously is going down, but the spirits remain high here at the PIC in Tumon Bay. And I have here some new friends, Joel Davis. But, and, of course, you know, we have determined that Joel, Joel, on Guam. <laughs> well, very, well, very nice to meet you. Thank you. Okay, so you are the F&B manager right now. Um, tell me what approach the company takes as far as preparing different types of food and combining it with the elements of the show and, like, really creating that experience uh, through the culinary arts when people come here? You know, of course, we try to pr uh, make sure that we do have the half a day spirit when we uh, do any type of food, uh, represent Guam very well. But one of, one of the concepts we do really, uh, we have here at PIC, we actually try to sell a memory a lot more than, uh, than a dinner because it's the memories that have people coming back and the treasure, you know, for uh, many years to come. And so that's the one thing, that's the biggest aspect we try to put uh, about it. And uh, we always try to make sure that we have the flavors of Guam at the same time be sensitive to the other cultures as well. well. Trina Cruz is the PR manager. Now, Trina, we talked to some of the dancers before, and they were telling us, you know, they gave such a wonderful push about why people should come and experience the show and all it means and, you know, just the impact it has on them. Um, from a managerial perspective, how do you guys structure the promotion of the show and, like, try and get that marketing message out to consumers, local, local in particular? Well, you know, they say that a uh, picture is worth a thousand words, and that's definitely the case here. Um, the setting alone is breathtaking. Um, when we were planning this whole project, we actually did some study tours throughout the island. Um, we visited some shows in Hawaii and in Vegas, and I'm very proud to say that PIC um, has a setting that's right up there with um, a, a lot of other um, amazing shows in the industry. So, you know, I'm not just saying this because, you know, my new friends from PIC are here, but, I mean, if you blindfolded me right now and dropped me in the middle of it, I wouldn't even know I was on Guam anymore. I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's such a departure from everything else around us. I mean, it's, and, like, you know, it's a complete experience. So talk about that. Yes, it is. It's definitely the complete package. Um, you come in and you're greeted by such wonderful staff. Um, you fill your plate with a lot of culture. Um, we've just added some new menu items um, for the new show. Um, you take a seat and you sit back, you relax, and you enjoy the ambience of the famous amphitheater. Um, we have the luscious landscapes in the background, the famous waterfall, um, and then the dancers take you on a journey throughout the islands of the Pacific. Um, so it's definitely a true cultural experience um, that, like Joelle said earlier, we always try and create that memorable experience. And so it's definitely something that they're able to create as a wonderful memory and take back with them to wherever it was that they came from, share with their family, share with their friends, and hopefully bring them back and just spread that wonderful PIC experience. All right. Well, we want to talk to the gentleman who actually puts the show together, Dr. Benji Santiago. We've interviewed you so many different times. You're such a strong advocate of island culture. Um, how do you put the show together and what elements do you really bring in to emphasize, you know, the very best of this region in the world to people who've never been here before? I think we want to give them the most memorable experience, the wow experience, and I think you can characterize this show or call it culture with class. Uh, this is almost like Las Vegas meets culture. When you come here, you're not going to want to leave the show. You're going to want to look at one corner, the next corner, the center of the stage. Your eyes are just going to be allured, and you're just going to be left with wonderment. I need to come back again and again and again to see what's happening. That's a very good sales push. Now, what is the most difficult thing to choreograph and put this all together? Because there's so many different things going on at the same time, and the routines, I would say, are, are very, very intricate. We're going to take a look at it later, but, you know, as the, as the brains behind it and everything, what kind of challenge is this for you to put together and keep going night after night? Sincerely and honestly, I'd like to say that it's a challenge, but working with such talented people, I think the spirit of camaraderie and the collaboration with these professional dancers makes my job easy. You come in daily, you come in nightly, and you see all of these dancers, you see the smiles, and everything that they put out, they don't put 100% out, they put 120% out. So I'd like to lie to you and tell you that it's a challenge, but it's not. They just make my dreams come true. <laughs> Spoken from the doctor himself, so Benji, to just you. Thank a pleasure. Agumas. All right, so we've talked to the managers, we've talked to the people behind the scenes running it, we've even talked to some of the dancers. When we come back, we are actually going to take a look at the absolutely eye popping and jaw-dropping presentation of the PIC show. Stay tuned. You do not want to miss what's coming up on our Staycation special right here on Fiesta Friday. Stay tuned.